Hello everyone, my name is Silver Willowing and welcome back to School of Dragons. I have managed to finish the Thorfest event, which unlocks a hybrid dragon. And this is what the dragon looks like as a baby. This species is called the Ghastly Sapplejack, I'm pretty sure. And it's a hybrid between the hideous Sibylbag and the Timberjack dragon. Some interesting dragons to combine, but nonetheless, this is the result of that. So this is a very special dragon. It's a hybrid. We don't have too many of these in game yet. So it's always an event when these show up. So we're gonna try to level this little guy up and see what the larger form looks like. That's where it really gets interesting. Is your dragon ready to grow? Yes. <gasps> Whoa! Alright, let's flick through some of the color options and see the different rarities of color that this dragon can have. I kind of like the green because it's like it, wor it works well for this, like a silverback type dragon, but I'm not so sure if I want to do it for this guy. I want it to be something unique and cool. The white comes across pretty nice on this guy, and the, the black is also <laughs> a good choice. Looks creepy. But yeah, I was going with something purple. So here we have the mighty ghastly Sabblejack. <laughs> it's kind of a ridiculous name, not really that fearful. And we got a photo bombing shovel helm. Let's try again. So here we have this new hyper dragon. And on another note, I am finally female again. For eons, I was stuck in this hybrid between male and female. And finally, school dragons fixed it for me. So. Amazing job, Squirrel Dragons. Happy to see it. Now let's take a look at this unique dragon. So, overall, I think this looks very promising. My one concern is that the eyes... There, I wish that the pupils were a little bit wider so the dragon would have more personality. Where now it's just like a pale eye with like one line that's like at the bottom um, eyelid. So it doesn't have a lot of, of personality in its face, which is a shame. It's otherwise a, a, a decent looking creature, but it just lacks personality. And it's important uh, that these dragons have that so you can attach to them. Because if you look at this face, let's just look at the face at first. There's not much emotion going on there, and I draw the reference from the other How to Train a Dragon game, Titan of Rising, where these dragons are very alive and very, very vivid uh, dragons, where this guy looks kind of soulless. But I still think that the head is overall good, the mold is overall nice, the flat head, I like that, I think it looks like a little bit of a... Of, of, a, of a bill almost, like a platypus or or, or shovel or, or something like that. I, I kind of think it works for the dragon, being a hybrid and all. We have these large horns, very, very thick horns on this guy, and then these uh, four kind of flat small nubs on his uh, cheeks, which is from the silver bag, obviously. And the horns, I think, is, is kind of like a mix um, because they're very thick, but they're, they're kind of the shape of a Tempo Jack's horns. I think that apart from the eyes, the head works very well. I like the massive amount of teeth that we have going on. And again, this flat, very, very wide, almost alligator-like um, mouth. And this strong horn, I actually think the nose is kind of cute, a little strong horn on him. He has the classic civil back spikes that goes down his overall body, down the neck, and then they kind of join in on the back, which is how the civil back gets its name, that it can kind of go together and sit these um, spikes shut. It's part of the reason why it's called what it is. And then it has this long tail. I think the civil back has two tails, where this guy only has one similar to the Timberjack. So that's a nice detail with two heads and then one tail. The wings are very wide, similar to a Timberjack. And I love that they included the wings to be specifically more Timberjack than Hideous Silverback because the Timberjack has beautiful and gorgeous wings. So it's really cool to see that on a dragon that also has legs because the Timberjack is limbless apart from its, dra its, its dragon wings, what am I saying? The legs are somewhat short but strong enough to make it believable, I would say, because they have this strong angle, like we see with a lot of the dragon species, the Night Fury included, and also the Silverback. And then it's got these classic hideous Silverback claws, which looks great and looks very stable for you know, walking around. Looks like a very stable dragon with these these four strong legs. Let's try moving around a bit with this, with this is apple jack. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so... Clumsy. <laughs> Ooh, those legs, man. 
those legs, he's just strutting his stuff. Look at him go. Okay, I don't know if I like it or if I hate it. Wow. Okay, so he's very stiff in his movements and the in the limbs, I would say. Very like straight tall going up and down. There's not much movement in the in the feet itself. I kind of think it fits this guy somewhat. Look at his head like wiggle back and forth as well. Interesting, interesting. I don't think it's it's dreadful because the dragon is, I imagine, heavy. Um, and you know, two heads controlling anything, it would make you kind of stiff around the, the joints, wouldn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, a bit of a stiff movement there. I don't think it's a deal breaker though. I don't think it's that dreadful, but it's not the best either. Get a bit of idea of what the flying looks like. Looks looks promising to fly. Uh, before we try it out, I want to shoot with this guy and see what his fire looks like. Let's try to shoot. Okay, so somewhat similar to the simple bag, the dragon joins his head closer together and then shoots in unison. I'm not sure if it has the same like one head is gas and the other is fire because it kind of looks like they're both just you know letting out an explosion, which I can get behind. Because again, it's a hybrid. I think it looks overall pretty good. It's a very like a strong mixture of red, almost purplish, uh, just right when it comes out, and then this green mix into it. It's very bright pink, and then into a red, and then into a green, and a yellow, of course. So not not too bad on the fireball. I think it's very, very mesmerizing to look at. All right, let's take this beauty in the sky, shall we? Oh my God, this walking. Okay. Wow. Those wings are beautifully flapping, and I forgot that I am a team dragon, so I can't fly. I have no idea where I'm going! I'm, I'm gonna crash! Mayday, mayday, mayday! <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Now we have a fully adult, hybrid, ghastly, subaltiac dragon. Alright, so I think the flying looks impressive. We got these amazing large wings, the Timberjack classic wings, carrying this dragon through the air. And we got the legs very, very close to the body, which I love because it creates a streamlined dragon, which is always very enjoyable to see. We got a slight movement in the heads and the neck and the tail is also swaying up and down. I like the flying. The heads move very well. Like they're they're going through the, the currents, the air currents and just, you know, enjoying the ride. So I think this flight is pretty good. As we speed up, we get more powerful wing strokes and overall natural up and down in the body, neck and tail. The tail is a bit stiff and uh, near the, the root of the tail. Not much movement there, but the tip is very, very uh, vigorous and moving up and down. So I like the flying. I think it's cool. Again, it's a heavy dragon, two-headed, very large, large wings, so it's probably limited how much friction and movement we would get in a body like this. That's how I imagine it, at least. Alright, not bad. I love these wings. They're very large and just satisfying to look at. <laughs> I like the little head. I love the little head. I really wish the eyes were more present. <laughs> like a creature with life instead of just this soulless demon hits. I didn't have too high hopes for this dragon, but I actually think it's very cool. Um, the other Hydra dragons, which are dragons with two heads minimum or more, um, are kind of stiff. The snap trap works well, but its stats are not so good, so I don't use it that much. But the hideous civil back, which is also a very cool dragon, doesn't have the greatest animation, so it's really cool to have a two-headed dragon that has more life in it. Even though I wish, I mean, I think there could be a little more, but it's much better than the previous animations we've seen for other dragons of this size and type. The wings are also kind of slightly tilted up, which I think is a, it's a cool detail, almost like a pigeon wing. If you've seen a pigeon glide, they also have their wings tilted slightly up when they do it. So I think that's uh, that's nice and gives this dragon kind of like a unique feel. I chose to be a little theatrical in my naming of this dragon. I was originally just going to name it Sack. <laughs> um, but I decided to name it Hubris and Nemesis, um, which is from 
Greek um, philosophy, Greek beliefs, ancient gods. With everything covered, let's check out the stats of this new hybrid dragon. So here we go, we got a max speed of 7, a pitch rate of 6, a turn rate of 8.8, .8, acceleration is 7.1, and a firepower of 7.5. So overall, pretty okay. Not anything spectacular. The turn rate is very nice, very nice, and the acceleration is also very nice, and the max speed is also promising. Firepower, somewhat average, but overall pretty nice stats, and these stats are relevant for Thunderbolt racing and battle events. Alright, here we are. One person left, I think. I don't know if we will race. Okay, we are racing. Good. Okay, I'm not too familiar with this level, so we might die terribly. I think that he's obviously not the fastest dragon, but I think he has a pretty strong turn rate, strong stability. His acceleration was a bit slow, but now he's really not picking up. And he's easy to control, which means a lot when you're racing. Oh my god, the flagman is catching on our butt. <laughs> I should not have crashed. Oh my god, I'm getting stressed out. Oh. Oh no. Oh, if it boosts, I will surely die. I'm gonna get ready to counterattack. Oh no. Oh, oh. Okay, we did it. Oh. We can test out his shot skill by practicing on these small things over here. So we should do that. This is in the connection with the battle event. Let's take a look. 15. How fast? He's not too fast on the shooting. But 15 is a pretty good score. And he has a considerable amount of shots as well. So, not too bad on battle. I think he would be alright, depending on how his aim is as well. I know if you get close enough then you can just shoot the boat, but sometimes you can, you know, do a little trick and shoot from the fire pits. And uh, that's only useful if the dragon has a good aim. But he's got 8 shots and he's fairly fast, 15 per shot. I think that's pretty good uh, fire stats. The walking on this guy though... <laughs> I don't know what that looks like, he looks like a nervous kid who's going to his first exam and he's like I gotta hurry but I'm also kind of shy about it. So my overall evaluation and opinion on the Ghastly Sabblejack is that it is a cool hyper dragon with a few tweaks that could make it better on the animation front. Um, I think it has some sturdy animations but a bit of the movement is kind of stiff and the eyes and the texture are very emotionless. Uh, but other than that, I think he looks quite alright. The hyper dragons are pretty cool because it's always a mystery what's gonna come next on the next event. And I think this is a nice um, representation of the hyper dragons because it's somewhat unique. It's it's not something I would have imagined that oh they're gonna do this next. So it caught me by surprise, which is a good thing. And we're getting uh, bombed by some sky dance of the great. So let me know what you think about the ghastly Sabblejack down in the comment section. Do you think it's worth it doing this entire event to get this guy? What do you think about the overall species? Are you excited about the hybrids? And which hybrid would you like to see next? Anything you really have to say, I'll look forward to reading it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had a good time. Stay safe and so long, dragon riders. I forgot to mention that you get free paint with this dragon. So when you unlock it, you also get the Thorfist paint, which you can put on and take off as you please. So that's pretty cool. Nice little festive paint for the dragon.